Hermila is still a flex that can go to the jungle. Baksha, last pick for Alter Ego. All right. I was banging on the Lolita. I was excited. I wanted to see if it worked out, but no, right. no Carmilla jungler just yet. It's going to be Carmilla in the roam, Baxia in the jungle. So in the keys to victory, it was mentioned that they need to... Playmaking two that hasn't been seen for a long, long time, but oh, look at that. Top side. A full gank onto Luke. First blood by Pi. Picks it up, even despite the early babysit. I mean, you even mentioned, right, the mid trio. Really quick. Rossi technically was skill number one, has an additional amount of movement speed as well, but he's getting chunked quite low. Nom nom nom, but the revitalize actually helps him to heal back up all the way. Ray now, kind of the bad spot. Still able to escape for a bit as a one for one trade. Only the roam for the jungler though. Boloiski still wants to keep this fight going. Luke, still level three. And look at Kripe just showing away the rest of Geek Fan. Oh, oh, never mind. Whoa. Up top. Oh no, Pi, what the heck? This is unfair. Oh we were no! We just talking about him. <laughs> we were just, no! That, that was brutal, man. I guess. See you, Pi. Oh, is there gonna be a trade back, though? Oh, beautifully done by Jadera. Not even the Purify used up, but he still has it right now. Pop's gonna Purify Jadera with the outplay! 3v1, no problem! Not just yet. Man, Alter Ego, they're really trying their best to really find some value right here, but Gig is doing a good job matching it. But you can see the difference in the in the mindset for Alter Ego. They're really forced to really stick together. Whereas for Geek, they can go with a portal play as Rossi here. They might go for something. Spirit Dive on the Beloy. No flicker for him, but he's still going to be able to jump in, put the portal down. And that might just be the re-engage. Luke has entered the fray now with a flicker forward. Or not just a flicker, just a dash with the I'm Offended takes Rossi down. Rome for Rome. Nino, as the whole team really sets up for the turtle right here, this is Geek just getting this whole chip set up. Luke now in the front, that's his welcome. Finding Taz and that's a free turtle for Ray. Secures it with absolute class. Geek fam now backing away as they've gone in. Ray gonna be caught in the furious dive and the petrified. Taz now with the shield unity as well, but Luke is here with Chanera as well. The entropy plays out, but Lois the flank now. Walking two members down, but Rossi has been isolated. Somehow, some way, Ray has survived. It was so fortunate. Oh no, Nino. Ooh. Okay, he gets out. Oh no! Oh, Luke! Given the playmaking picks, and this is what he does! Luke with the ruby! Finding two on the board, and Nino falls. No another pull back as Beloisky shoves Taz with a crash course and a stun. Mid lane siege possible. Taz pops in a boy's stuns. Luke goes in. No run Woking stuns him up, and the eternal guard locks him down. A boy is on a killing spree. And in the bottom, bottom lane. This mid tower should surely fall, especially with how much damage Shadera is already doing in his siege. Oh. Hello? No way. No way, Beloy. Okay. Beloy? Rossi's coming. Rossi is coming. <laughs> oh, oh, Rossi took the kill. Not ideal. Unnecessary. Oral just isn't available just yet. Yeah, Eternal, you spoke a bit too soon right here, and Taz might be jumped on, might be picked off. Nom nom nom, the Dino says as he puts Taz and chomps him up. The damage not enough just yet, never mind. My god, another burst of damage coming down from the Geeks oh, to no. take Taz down. Mean. Maybe the one sent into the mid lane to clear it out as Ray is actually sieging down that mid tier two. Final tier two of this game will be taken down for the side of Ultra Ego. Oh, good pull by Luke with I'm offended into the nom nom chomp. Ray pulled back as well. But now it's going to be Rossi who's still able to survive for now. The oh. backline, Jadero with the Purify, still able to kite back. And Taz is caught in no man's land. Terrify and more damage to come through from Chidera. Right now, caught on the I'm Offended, still able to dash away for now. Nino with a blazing new weapon, no damage just yet. Chidera, Entropy, zoning Nino back away again. Up top, Rossi looking for the defense. Big fam want to go for this base turret and Luke will provide some oh. safety. Quite gets pulled in again and Chidera cleans it up. Mega kill! Right. Keep your eyes glued on Luke, because this man has been making the plays happen. Okay, just zoning for now. He has the I'm Offended, can pop it, whatever he needs to. Goes in onto Rossi, and look at the damage from Janera! He's melting down Rossi! That's the tank! That's the tank! Even the dragon who's flying by! Gets absolutely deleted! When the Natan gets full items at 12 minutes, it's GG! And Geek Fam will take game one. Convincingly. They strike first. With that damage output again, right? I mean, we thought that maybe with the mid trio from Alter Ego in the Carmilla, in the Valentina, in the Boxia, 
the fact that they're able to clear really quick, they have the movement speed that they maybe they have a bit more to say when it comes down to the It would be a big problem. But oh, they bring in an Akai to try and solve that issue perhaps. And set in stone, very aggressive team fight composition coming in from Alter Ego. A lot of crowd control right. looking towards with yeah. Beloisky's choice of emblems as well. Look at Tera, Master Assassin against this Bruno. Whereas Nino's going for the tenacity, so a bit of difference in focus. That's going to give Chadera a bit more influence in that goal lane, but now look at Taz. A level ahead, Ray. That's it as well. Come into Beloisky. Instantly, don't run Wolf King. First blood. Wow, Geek Fam. Straight off the bat. It's not just Luke. They the all. Levels below of Ray right now. With Beloisky constantly being a disruption. So, and I'm offended onto Beloisky. Heavy spin used up to kill the Roamer. Four man rotation as well to get Beloy. Pressure being put oh onto the Bruno in the gold lane with the Matilda babysit from Rossi, but here we go, Ray. This kill squad, oh, I'm offended into the damage. My god, now Luke Thunder collapse, say goodbye to Taz. Oh, oh. the pullback though, Beloy and Ray brought all the way under the turret. But even then, Geek are happy with the trade in the bottom lane again. Chadera, 2v1, no problem. Nino is munching on that goal. Walking in solo, just undeterred. Despite having a Matilda in the mix, he just can't match up. Uh -oh. this though. So, that's the damage coming in from Kryte. That's a really good punish, actually. With him being taken off the board, Beloisky should be the next one. Okay. And I'm offended now. Dora Wolf King, Kryte brings him back. One last shot, should do it, Beloy! It's scratched by Rossi. Those booms able to secure another kill. Two kills over to Alter Ego. They look to siege down this turret in the bottom lane. Nino gets it done. That's the guy who's structural takes on the left, on the map. Another siege attempt, but a thunderclap. Now, oh, Nino, you cannot ignore this damage, brother. Forced to run away. Still has a purify, but Ray now catches them. Guiding win. And a stolen death is welcomed by Kratos. He quickers backwards now, but Luke oh. goes in for the thunderclap. Taz pins Luke and Ray down. That's a lot of damage to the world. He plays down as well, but Luke just gets out with the flicker. Nino looking for some more, but now the conceal from Geek to escape. Ooh. Nino putting some damage. So they gotta play around Nino right here. That they have been sacrificing so much to let Nino online. Can they go for Ray here? Oh, they use all their resources on the tank. It's not gonna be good. The Nethers welcome used up a Genera. We'll use the blazing duet. It's a vengeance now. It's Ray brings two members back in. Quite won't be able to pop in the Nethers welcome. Genera versus Nino with some damage, but Luke has entered this team fight now. The jungler traded in for the middle. On curve. Two man, I'm offended. It's now the circling eagle. He plays down onto a boy. Oh! Ray almost got CC'd and it was almost bad for Geek Fam. Pie gets chomped up. Nom nom nom. The vengeance. Not useful here in this particular situation. Luke. Now it's Luke who dies in deep. Cry very low. And another shot onto Nino. Luke waiting for an opportunity. Gets the health bar back. Losing Beloy and Ray. Trading it for Pi and a Lord. But that was a really good heavy spin cover from oh. the other hand. Chidera becomes the most, oh wait a minute, are they going for, oh, what? Wow, Rossi, where did he go? Right gets poked too, my god, that damage. What? They deleted him before we can even... I already see him being able to chunk from such a distance. There you go, half health, almost, on Kryte. Oh, what? I'm offended, and the flanker now, the thunder clock, Kryte going to be deleted, Chidera! In the midst of it all, he's doing some damage, not even using the blazing duet yet! An alter ego are forced back. Luke is just recalling in the face oh, of him. 14. He just reached 14. Earlier he was 13, so he's still below if it comes down to the retribution battle. Oh, oh wow. POD. Oh, good pull down on the Taz. Poke down instantly. Now has to use a heavy spin. Luke deletes Kreit with the POD that he built. Now Chidera is on pie. Baited out the vengeance as well. Alter Ego depleted of their resources. What the heck? Now I'm offended on the Rossi. Killing spree already secured by a boy as he marches forward. Now Nino running for the hills. Jadero the blazing duet. At this point, he's just dancing with that blazing duet. He's just spinning around. Nino caught on the Astral Echo. Now pinned down. They're looking to take him out. The footballer now. A wind of nature, but what is it going to do when Luke just scratches you down? A complete wipeout. Geek Bam have done it, a 2-0 to send Alter Ego. Deeper in the depths of the red zone as they climb up. The Gilded Hands a favor the Geeks today. Pulling them up in the hopes that their playoff dream stays alive. A 2-0 to zero clean sweep by the Geeks today.
Wow. Luke wants it, man. He is absolutely angry. Setting up.